Hey, oh, howdy, everybody. Today, I'll be playing through Kuki Shinobu's Hangout event. I'll be getting all endings, and after that, I'm gonna try to roll for Shinobu while avoiding getting a 5-star at all costs, which ends up being a little bit interesting, so stick around until the end of the video if you're curious to see what happens. With that said, I hope you enjoyed the video, and please leave a like if you do. Thank you. Okie dokily, I'm gonna go unlock the Hangout event now. Uh, hello, Kuki. Oh boy, oh boy. Here we go! Begin Hangout! What is Ether doing? What was that face? What'd he do? What did you just do? I, I don't even want to know. Alright, police station it is. No problem. Hello! It's Kuki! Wait. I do apologize. Ooh. As I've explained before, That's it's a opposed. constant battle for Mr. Arataki with his mental instabilities. I know it's caused no mental instabilities you, and I can assure you that he regularly feels very remorseful about that too. I'm going to be completely honest, mental instabilities makes it sound worse than it actually is, but it also kind of fits. Exactly. Yes, and that's why he has such a big heart for other people struggling with similar issues. Um the Arataki support group was actually founded precisely to try and bring something positive out of that. Um I feel like, isn't her voice, like, raspier? I think her voice in the Archon Quest was, like, a little bit, like, rougher than this. Which, I don't mind this, but I like the Archon Quest one. Because that one had, like, a little bit of gruffiness to it. Which made her stand out a little bit more from the rest of the cast. Yes, all of them are good, honest people underneath. It's just a shame that they still haven't found a cure after all this time. Oh, but no, 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 not me. I'm not a sufferer. What are you doing? Hmm? Ah, Dirt fish! the person I need. Okay. I still find it funny that they skip over, like, your player name sometimes. Or, like, replace it with Traveler. Mr. Uesugi, my friend here can confirm everything I've told you about Mr. Arataki. To put it simply, he experiences strong emotion more acutely than most and easily becomes highly excitable. And deep down inside, all the members of the Arataki support group are some of the most down-to-earth, kind-hearted people you could ever meet. Uh, strike the down-to-earth part, and I agree. That's not the full story. Huh. Even the Traveler is here to vouch for the Arataki gang. So you're saying we've had them wrong all this time? Uh, depends what you mean by wrong. Or what, rather, what you mean by right, but let's just help Shinobu out here. Otherwise, why would Shinobu have stayed in the gang? Otherwise, how would the Arataki gang have been able to help Shinobu? I think I like the first one. <laughs> you make a good Not that point. it matters. You know, I heard Yoriki Owada saying how the Arataki gang's deputy has studied abroad and is well-versed in the law. I was wondering why someone with that much talent would choose to stay with the Arataki gang. I don't know either. Here's the thing, though. We have solid evidence that those three were illegally posting flyers everywhere, and we've received a lot of complaints from members of the local community. I appreciate what you're saying and everything. I'm just not sure I can let them off so easily. My question is what kind of punishment they're going to give. Because they've almost jailed Ito on multiple occasions. If, like, okay, what kind of illegal posting are we talking here? Is it, like, flyers on every wall, every square inch covered, like, kind of kind of illegal? Or is it just, like, posting where they're not supposed to be posting po flyers? I kind of think they're too strict or too harsh on Ito and the Arataki gang. But that's just me. Oh, please accept my sincere apologies once again for all of that. She says that with the most sincere voice, but, like, her her stance right now gives off, like, the most sarcastic attitude possible. Like, she's done. She does not want to be here. I mean, obviously she doesn't, but, like, come on. That face, man. Mamoru and the others probably believe that they would be able to reach more people in need this way. Unfortunately, they were so eager to help that they ended up causing more problems than they solved. The Arataki support group assumes full responsibility. We will work quickly to restore the clean the and tidy living environment. The music's overtaking the voices. I'll, I'll, I'll the fix this in a second, sorry. Rightly expects. But 
but with only myself available, I'm afraid that it could take a very long time to remove all the flyers. Having their help would have made things much quicker. I'm just a little concerned that if progress is too slow, the complaints will only keep coming, which ultimately only makes more work for you and your colleagues. Uh, I... Uh, all right, fine. I'll go fetch them. But don't think I'm gonna make a habit of this. Finally, we're saved. Yeah, were they about to be put in jail? Like, they were in the police station. I don't know what for... Well, I know what for, but, like, were, were they contemplating putting the Arataki gang in jail? Because if that ever crossed their minds, I would legitimately be so confused. Hey, hey, I knew Shinobu wouldn't abandon us. Dude, she's bailed you out of this kind of situation probably over a dozen times. I think she wouldn't abandon you. What up? The Arataki gang is back in town. I love Genta, but also where's Ito? <clears throat> Sorry, they're getting a little overexcited at the prospect of being able to serve the community. All right, guys. Make sure you get every last one of those flyers back, okay? And don't forget to apologize to the residents and ask for forgiveness. I assure you, there won't be any problems. Will there, guys? Okay. <laughs> that, was, that was a really drawn out, will there? But, you know, to drive the point home... I really hope letting them go was the right decision. They better not cause any more trouble. <laughs> At least not of this variety. <laughs> What's up, Wasugi? I really hope letting them go was the right decision. You said this already. Okay, bye. Oh, Kuki Shinobu, Arataki gang, all of you. What's up, homies? All right then, Shinobu. We, uh, we'll go apologize then? Yeah. We better be quick, or... Not so fast. Ah! Oh, God. <laughs> she's she's literally the parent of the Arataki gang. About to spank each of them! Last month, you almost got the fire brigade out when you were roasting lavender melons. Five days ago, you angered the whole neighborhood by hosting the great sing-along in the middle of the night. And today, you go plastering flyers all over town. I still find this ridiculous. Like, how do they manage to go to such extremes with such simple activities? It is, it is mind-boggling. How many times will you have to be arrested before this stops? Asking the same question. But we put up those flyers to tell everyone how great the Arataki gang is. Oh, wow. No more excuses. Glad, uh, glad you know, that worked I out for you, buddy. plans at Uyu Restaurant today. But it looks like you guys need a little slap on the wrist first. Ah, please, you don't want to do this. You could have just left us in jail instead. Oh, he's so sad. Look at Gento, so sad. Oh. I would rather slowly back away, but I want to watch how this goes down. Are you serious? Sorry, man. Oh, please calm down. Calm down. I'm, I'm very curious what this... Oh. Man, it's just a fade to black and then text again. I mean, it's Genshin. Did I really expect more? There we go. Huh. Now we can get to your original plan today. You got off lightly. Wow. I have more important things to do today. We'll finish this off tomorrow. Is that clear? Huh? Tomorrow? Do we have to? Dude. Like, they're actually kids. I mean, this is their mom. This is insane. Excuse me? Got it. Got it. We'll, we'll leave you to your other plans. Huh. I love Shinobu. Uh, why did you just stand there and watch? Because it's funny! Don't you care about us at all? Well, kind of. But also, I care more about the fact that Shinobu is about to hit you. It was gonna happen sooner or later. I guess that's true. And the longer she puts it off, the angrier she gets. But she said there'll be more to come tomorrow. Yeah, that's exciting. I want to be there for that. Oh, if only Shinobu was busy tomorrow, too. Hmm. Hey, how about we hold her up somehow so she still has things left to do tomorrow? Like, what if we get arrested? That would be awesome. 
And then she'd have to come rescue us again. And then she'd be distracted. And then she won't be able to slap us. Uh, that sounds kind of risky. If we end up sabotaging Shinobu's work, even Boss wouldn't be able to protect us. Would he? If Shinobu ever found out it was us, <sighs> I don't even want to think about it. You're not going to do anything awful, are you? I put a stop to it. Yeah, I'd, I'd much rather side with Shinobu, so you're not going to do anything awful, are you? No way. We won't do anything bad. We're just going to go and have a look and, you know, hold things up if it's possible. If you don't trust us, why don't you come and watch? Uh, you know, to keep an eye on us. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with just taking a look. She should be heading to the Uyu restaurant. Let's quietly follow her and just... Sorry, I cut you off there. You guys were talking way too long. Let's go! They spoke of nothing, by the way. That was just, like, Arataki gang interaction. Which I think is fine, but, like, dude, I do not care. I'm here for Shinobu, okay? Shinobu and Ito. A and maybe Genta, but, like, Genta was annoying. Whoa. Okay, there's a ton of people Looks in like here. Not on the first floor. Maybe they're upstairs. Yeah, no shit. Did you not check upstairs? Let me Are do that you for sure? you, idiot children. See? This is Miss How difficult was that? Oh, hi. Hello. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Kuki Shinobu. I studied law in Liyue. Soft so while I couldn't claim to be an expert, I do have a rudimentary grasp of the basics. <laughs> From what I've heard, Miss Kuki, I'm sure you're being very modest. Yeah. I'm looking forward to working. Hundred percent. I can assure you that she is exceptionally capable. All the doshin from the police station have vouched for her abilities. <laughs> well, with I didn't expect to see Sarah here, by the way. That was a nice surprise. You'd like to start right away, Miss Kuki. You flatter me, Madam Norika, but perhaps we can discuss the role in detail over our meal before deciding how well I'm suited to the role. Oh. <sighs> Forgive me for getting ahead of myself. You're quite right, Miss Kuki. Let's continue this discussion as we dine, or the food will get cold. What are you eating exactly? Because <laughs> I see. It's understandable to be hungry for top talent. Ha <laughs> ha So funny. Akira, Genta, did you hear that? Is Shinobu at a job interview? And look who it's with. The Tenryo Commission Tengu. I mean, I don't think... What is he doing with his hands, man? I never thought I'd see that self-important Tengu acting so polite. Who's that other woman they're with? Some big shot official? Oh yeah, I kind of forgot about that. I think... Okay, theory time! I think Shinobu and Sara struck a deal. So, Shinobu is covering for, like, the Arataki gang by, like, being friends with Sara. So, because Shinobu's in the Arataki gang and she's friends with Sara, Sara can't, like, keep bullying the Arataki gang because then that'll make Kuki Shinobu upset, and that's why the Arataki gang still gets away with stuff. Best theory ever, guys. 10 out of 10. Trust me. Well, duh. That Tengu is the Shogunate's general. So that other lady has got to be someone ridiculously high up. Well, whoever it is, it looks like Shinobu is going to take a new job with the Shogunate. You heard him. The job's practically hers already. Well, Shinobu can get basically any job she wants in Inazuma, I am sure. I mean, she doesn't have, like, the influence for it, but she has the skill, you know? But without Shinobu, what's gonna happen to the Arataki gang? Uh, you get jailed, again. We gotta do something. Quick, let's go tell the boss. He should be looking for Oni Kabuto nearby. Do we get to meet Ito? I mean, I expect it. But can we meet Ito? Please? Yes, we do! Let's go! Okay, look, we got a Sara interaction. That was unexpected. Now we get an Ito interaction, which is expected, but still cool and very welcome. Now, where is this lovely lad? There he is! Whoa! His, like, slight head turn. What's up, buddy? Boss! Bad news, boss! Really bad! Oh, hey, hey! What's with the panic vibes? Panic vibes! This is the Arataki gang, remember? It ain't bad news till we show up, am I right? <laughs> so come on, what's up? It's Shinobu. She... She... She's dead! No, you idiot! Oh. Shinobu's gonna go work for the Tengu! What? Shinobu found a new job? 
What? You have got to be kidding me. Dude, look at his like sudden stance. Or he, like he went from like standing like this to like immediately in that position. That looked weird. No, it's true, boss. We saw her at the interview with our own eyes, didn't we? Yes, she was interviewing, but <sighs> that slimy. I knew that Tangu had her greedy eyes on Shinobu. Okay. For what reason? I mean, she's obviously jealous of the Arataki gang's top-class talent, but now she's trying to poach my people? Gah, that thieving Tengu! Shouldn't we ask Shinobu about this first? But they're already asking her for a start date! It's in the bag. The interview is clearly just a formality. I don't think they were li Okay, if they were actually listening to that, their brain cells have got to be, like, in the single digits. <laughs> well... Based on my experience of interviewing once every three days, I know for a fact that they will have been plotting this for a long time by now. Could this all have just been a Mr. Strand and Mr. fucking... Oh, there is no way she... Well, actually, you know what? You could be right. It, she does get treated pretty well in the Arataki gang. I mean, every time we win some snacks, she does get first pick. Dude, I, I love that, like, every time Ito is voiced... They let Max do whatever the fuck. Like, they, they just let Max go off with his voice. And it works. I mean, it works. But I heard that a day's salary in the Shogunate is enough to buy a week's worth of snacks for the whole gang. Yeah, but still, in the Arataki gang, we have a more relaxed working environment, don't we? Seriously, have you ever seen that Tengu smile? No! She always has that same sour look on her face. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is what I'm talking about. The, just, like, letting Max just do whatever the hell he wants makes Ito a significantly funnier character. And I'm not sure if they do that with, like, other voice actors or, like, the other characters in this game. It works especially well with Ito, but, like, I mean, some improvised moments with, like, Venti maybe would be funny, too. Um, but I don't know. Ito's probably the only character that this works best with. Do you think maybe... After we got arrested for posting flyers Maybe. this time, I don't, 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 I don't know why no. he's like stuttering so much. Boy, calm down! If it were me, I'd be looking for a new job. Those those flyers drive me mad too. Uh, Those flyers drive me mad too. Wait, so it's not a misunderstanding then? It's all our fault. We made Shinobu angry and now she's found a new job. Boss, what are we going to do? Without Shinobu, the Arataki gang won't survive. All right, you guys, uh, come with me. We'll, we'll go door to door and apologize. And we'll, uh, we'll tear down all the flyers. Sounds like a plan. Boss. <laughs> well, oh, Shinobu's leaving. Well, oh, so sad. I didn't even realize this also, but like, look, his hat's covering his eyes. Like, this looks more menacing than sad right now. Also, I need you to do something. Ooh, do you want to go on a date? Let's hear it. Go find Shinobu and tell her you want an interview. Oh, is it for like the Arataki gang? Because <laughs> I mean, dude, I would hire her for like to work for me. Hello, Shinobu over Paimon as my traveling companion. Being being my traveling companion. Isn't that a pretty cool job? Eh, eh? That's pretty cool. If you tell Shinobu that you want to join us, suddenly she'll have a whole different outlook on the future of the Arataki gang. Okay, but like joining the Arataki gang does sound kind of cool though. That's a pretty good deal. With you and Shinobu as my trusty number twos and Arataki numero, numero uno, uno. In the show, we'd be unstoppable. The Shogunate would have a tough time competing with us then, huh? That's actually a kind of fair point. Like, if the Travelers started vouching for the Arataki gang, would the police consider me and Shinobu, like, would the police consider, like, Traveler and Shinobu, like, bad? Or would they consider the Arataki gang good? Whoa, nice one, boss. Why do you do that pose? That was weird. The Arataki gang rules. What do you say, partner? All right, but just this once. <laughs> Why not forever? Okay. I'll leave you nobody you then. Like, Boys? if we're like a permanent, we're an honorary knight in Mondstadt, but we travel the world, why can't we be like an honorary Arataki gang member? That's pretty cool. I'd kind of dig that, not gonna lie. <laughs> Woohoo! Do you, restaurant? That place isn't even worth mentioning.
Oh, they're outside. All right, then. You can expect us to be in touch very soon to follow up, Miss Kuki. I love... Okay, this NPC is just a very sweet character. I don't know why, but, like, I get nice vibes from this character. I don't know why. It's getting late. I should get back. Woohoo! I hope that the next time we meet, we'll be at the headquarters of the Tenryo Commission. Still, again, unexpected that Sarah's here, but I'll take it, man. I mean, I should have expected it, because, like, Sarah and, like, the Arataki gang, whatever. I, I should have seen this coming, but, like, still cool. Like, we don't get enough of Sarah in the game. Um, We don't get very much of Kokomi, either. Like, I really wish we had more of those characters, because I really love these two. Um, Gameplay-wise, kind of crap, but, like, I mean, come on. As characters, they're pretty damn cool. Thank you. I'm truly honored. I do find it kind of huh? funny that oh when did you get here i like the poses they gave kooky i do find it funny though that like i don't know why i'm jumping between kooky and shinobu whatever i'll name her cookie so so i'm so i'm less confused i will name you cookie for the rest of this this playthrough I, i'm surprised that they gave like cookie like the the like kind of um what's it the hands on hip pose like that pose like looks kind of like aggressive and i don't think Cookie's all that aggressive i mean she might be like, maybe, like, she's actually that way, and, like, the English translation just made her kinder, but, like, I don't know. I don't think it fits that she's so, like, you know, defensive or, like, you know, angry like that. It kind of does, but, like, I, I prefer her to be kind of, like, a stern mother rather than, like, an angry mother to the Arataki You know what I mean? I don't know where I'm going with this. I, I just, whatever. I saw nothing! Huh? Whatever. What did you want? Ugh. Have Genta and the guys caused a scene again? Actually, I came to request an interview with you. An interview? You want to join the Arataki gang? You haven't consumed any strange substances, have you? Huh, <laughs> not today. Um, of course not. So this isn't a joke. Huh, that kind of makes this even more concerning. Why? Arataki gang is like the coolest gang in all of Inazuma, bro. It's not like you don't know the Arataki gang, so what's gotten into you? I mean, uh, what sparked your interest in joining? I like the culture. Pretty sick. I also like the people. I mean, you get to talk to Ito all day. That's pretty fun. I see. Well, enjoying it from the outside is one thing. But actually being in the gang is a whole different story. Well, okay, actually I can kind of agree with that. But also, I feel like that would be funny. I have to go into town to take care of some routine gang business. You can come with me. Routine gang Consider business sounds, internship. like, kind of ominous. But considering that we have the context of this is the Arataki gang, it immediately just diffuses everything. After that, if you still want to join us... Then I'm in. We'll see how it goes. Hell yeah! Also, I failed to point this out, but, like, at the beginning of the quest... Uh, at the beginning of the hangout event, I kind of mentioned that Kuki's voice was different. It's it's slowly getting back to what I originally thought. Ah, oh, Shinobu. Can I get you anything? No thanks, Mr. Shimura. I'm actually here to apologize on behalf of the Arataki gang for the whole posting flyers incident. Lamal. Oh, wait. I just realized Catherine's in the background. Check that out. That's cool. Oh, <laughs> that. Don't worry about it. Your boss and his pals already came to apologize. Not only did they take down all the flyers, they cleaned up the shop for me too. Oh, hey. There you go. Wait, are you sure that was the Arataki gang? Did the leader have horns on his head? Pretty unmistakable. Like, I mean, if you saw the Arataki gang, you'd know it's the Arataki gang. <laughs> sure did. Ah, oh, it looks like at long last, they've turned over a new leaf. Um... For the sake of Shinobu, of course. I mean, who wouldn't, man? How is this possible? Maybe it's your influence at work? I fully agree, Traveler. I find this all very hard to believe. Let's head to Tsukumomono Groceries. She read that well. Groceries. Tsukumomono Groceries. Okay, now that I actually read it, it's it's not that bad, but whatever. Like, when you see this word, it don't look like a word. 
talk to Aoi, the owner of Su Oh, it's like right here. Hello. Oh, it's you. Welcome to Tsukumomono Groceries. Congrats on reading that right as well. What the? F Sorry, Miss Aoi. I'm here on behalf of the Arataki. What did she just say? The incident with the flyers. Is that how you say that? Uh, sorry, Miss. Oh, the flyers? A bunch of guys came by and cleaned them up already. They also kept loudly proclaiming that they were going to compensate me in full if it was the last thing they did. Dude, that sounds like a Eula thing. It's just like, I will give you birthday presents if it's the last thing I do! You know, like... That's a very Eula thing to say. Though, I mean, it applies to the Arataki gang as well, I guess. This whole thing really wasn't a huge deal, so I told them that if they really wanted to make it up to me, they could just buy something from the shop. They huddled together and discussed it for a while, and in the end, they bought the most expensive item in the store, even though all four of them had to empty their pockets to get enough Mora. Dude, I'm surprised they even had enough Mora. I thought the gang was broke. What the... Have they really had a change of heart? See? Your teaching was not in vain! There's one more person we need to apologize to. Let's go. Okay. Why is it always like- Why is it only like three major places? Didn't they like post poster flyers around the whole area? Like why are we only going to these three specific people? Oh, a kid. Hey, Shota. <laughs> Looking at flowers today, I see, and not that shrine over there. Interesting. I guess that's Cookie. Right, You're right. To see me, and he gave me back all the snacks he won off me yesterday. <laughs> wow. Wow. Did he? I'm impressed too, actually. I also brought some snacks. You can take them too. Then you'll have extra in case they come to play cards with you again. That's pretty smart. <laughs> no need. They promised they're never going to take my snacks again. That's sweet. Is this really the same Arataki gang I know? Yeah, when they're pressured by you. I mean... No, I have to see it with my own eyes. Huh? Look, they're down there right now. There they are. Such good boys. Hello there, everybody. Really Congratu- fun. Oh. Hey, are you posting flyers again? No, no, we're innocent. We're cleaning them up. <laughs> you Tenryo Commission types. Maybe if you opened your eyes, you'd see that people can change. Ever think of that? Is that the flyer they've been posting? Because if so, man, is the Arataki gang cool. Playing the blame game before you even understand the situation. No wonder you're always catching the wrong people. <clears throat> Tell it to him, Ito. Please don't mind them. They're just a little overexcited. Tell it to him, Cookie. I forgot I was going to call you Cookie. You're Cookie. Forgot. Sorry. <sighs> Shinobu and the Traveler. We're safe. Ah, uh, her name is Cookie. The snack, she is cookie. I know how preposterous it sounds, but they have, in fact, been cleaning up the flyers. Numerous witnesses in this area can attest to that. But I just heard about a street gang who've been reported for posting flyers. And look at this thing. Man, this guy's a little late. But then again, I mean, like, the city of Inazuma is quite large. Word does not travel that quickly. This is clearly the guy with the horns. Even the expression is identical. Yeah. I actually like that Ito face. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Turns out this Tenryo blockhead's a real art connoisseur. Yeah, really captures my style, doesn't it? Frankly, it does. Even got your little corn dog thing. So, you admit it then. <laughs> right. That's it. You're coming with me to the police station. They were just there. Man, this guy is, like, seriously slow. Wait, please. I can explain. Uh, what's going on? So sorry, Madam Norika. I'm just stopping some hooligans from posting flyers. We already told you we are innocent. Are, are you even listening? Clearly not, man. I'm on your side, Ito. Fuck this You've guy. You've been detained at the police station for graffiti countless times. You're really trying to tell me you're an innocent man? Are you the same person that detained them? Huh? Idiot. Well, Oni, but that's beside the point. It's different this time. I, I swear. Okay. I, re I like that writing. That's kind of funny. Doshin, this is Miss Kuki, a business partner of mine. I can vouch for her honest and forthright character. If her friends have done anything wrong, she will not hide it. Perhaps we could hear her out first? 
After all, since we're gonna be working together in a few days, it would be a shame to let something like this come between us, don't you think? Thank you! Wow. Working together? Oh, you mean the thing Madame Kujo Sara briefed us on? Understood. We will hear your explanation. <sighs> all right. <sighs> I see. So, you did post the flyers, but then you did the responsible thing and came back to clear them up. It seems I jumped to conclusions on this occasion. No apology needed. We know how much trouble we've created for you in the past. <sighs> well, I'm glad to see that the misunderstanding is resolved. Well, I will see you soon. I hope we can work together effectively. Uh, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to skip through the text there. Sorry. Uh, most certainly, ma'am. Boss, did you hear what they said? This means Shinobu has already made her decision. Yep. Looks like it's time for us to make a decision too. Let's kill her. I'm kidding. Don't. I will kill you first, before Shinobu, and then myself. Move to the backup plan. Guys, chill. What are you up to now? Aw, uh, I, lo I love that. <laughs> like, okay, you know, I get that it's, like, supposed to be, like, casually, you know, casual language. But, like, for some reason hearing guys chill in Genshin is, like, I don't know. Like, you don't hear that. It's just cool. Shinobu, thank, thank you for everything. What the fuck? <laughs> this is their plan? Nice backup plan. Dude. It's actually considerably effective, as you'll see in a moment. Hey, what's this all about? <clears throat> Shinobu, this is a parting gift from all of us in the Arataki gang. We what? all pitched in and no! you this from Tsukumomono Groceries. Okay, congratulations on reading that well, too. You know what? I'm going to bet that the Tsukumomono... Tsukumomono... Soku Momono Groceries was like put in the script to like fuck with all the voice actors because dude that like reads like a tongue twister. I mean obviously if I read it slowly, Soku Momono Groceries that's whatever right. But like if, I, if I'm just reading this whole sentence, that word sticks out like a sore thumb. Like I'm surprised this is all being read like properly by by all the characters. We know it's nothing compared to your salary in the Shogunate, but what? She just started, man. A Naku weed bracelet? What am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> Get a whiff! <laughs> Shinobu, don't forget about us when you're in the Tenryo Commission. We'll all try and be better people and better Oni. We promise to stay out of trouble and not make your job difficult. Wait, who said I'm leaving? <laughs> also, Shinobu, when you couldn't find your snacks last week, the truth is... I ate them. Why am I hardly surprised? And last month, I stole that toy we won. And when you came and asked me for it, I, I, I lied. And I told you it was broken. <laughs> Why am I hardly surprised? <laughs> I love Cookie. Hey, no crying. We talked about this. Send her off with a smile, all right? Who are we? We are the... The Arataki gang. <laughs> I love the way that this was read. I love the way that all this is done. Like, frankly, the Hangout events have really good voice acting. I mean, obviously, because they have to make it show you. But, you know, Genshin just has good voice acting. I really respect the hustle. Shinobu is moving on to better things. We should be happy for her. <laughs> You're right. You're right, boss. <laughs> okay, but this guy sounds like he's laughing more than he's crying. Is that just me? <laughs> the Arataki gang rolls. <laughs> Sounded like he was getting killed, like force choked, bro. The Arataki gang. <laughs> hey, don't you start too? Wait, was Traveler also crying? <laughs> Let's go. Oh, That's hilarious. The Arataki gang you mentioned, Miss Kuki. What an interesting group of people. Interesting is a good word to describe it with. Yes. Sorry for making a scene. Mm, I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Norika, a merchant who does business between Inazuma and Liyue. Recently, I've been negotiating a business deal with the Tenryo Commission regarding medical supplies. I like her. <laughs> huh? A merchant? Wait, so you're not a shogunate official? Man, I do find it silly that it's like, um, they were complaining that 
the the guard policeman guy was not listening to them, but they're not listening to to Cookie right now. They don't listen to other people in general. Of course not. I'm just a merchant. I was lucky enough to secure exclusive sales rights for some new first aid supplies from Boo Boo Pharmacy recently. Boo Boo Pharmacy. So I thought I would ask the Tenryo Commission if they would be interested in establishing a long-term supply relationship. Injuries are a regular occurrence in the army, after all. Fair enough. They're probably getting shipped, like, multiple copies of Chi Chi, and I don't know the, how that would make me feel, but, like... Cross-border trade is a complicated affair, but, fortunately, Madam Kujo Sara was able to bring in a legal consultant proficient in the laws of both nations. True. Um, but that aside, like, didn't the borders only open, like, this, the past few months or something? Like, I find that impressive that they're even, like, beginning this kind of, this level of commerce. Um, because I don't think trade was available until, like, recently, right? Because of, of the Sokoku Decree? Oh, you mean Shinobu? That's right. Thanks to Miss Kuki, our negotiations went very smoothly. The rest of the process will probably take another 10 to 15 days. After that, I will have to borrow Miss Kuki from you again for a while. I thought so. I can definitely I'm so smart. Time, so long as these guys stay out of trouble. Ah, uh, yes. I have a little compensation for you all. Here, some trial packs of our new supplies. Hoggers! Miss Kuki tells me that you often find yourselves in well, injury I situations. I, I heartily recommend our product. This is unexpected. So she's really a merchant? <laughs> oh, you guys, I knew you must have gotten the wrong idea. Shinobu would never quit. <laughs> Look at all this fuss you made over nothing. <sighs> Planning a whole leaving ceremony. Uh, but wasn't the backup plan your idea, boss? Well, okay. To be fair, you make a backup plan after you make an original plan. And the plan was formed because of the information you provided. So... He just trusted in you guys, the gang. You're still at fault here. Um, and I, I, will, I will blame Genta. I will fully blame Genta for everything. Um, <laughs> all right, well, if we're done here, I'm going to head to Tsukumamono Groceries and see if they'll let me return the bracelet. Once again, clap. Everyone clap because he read that right. At this point, I'm like fully convinced that Tsukumamono Groceries is like in the script specifically to fuck with the actors like it's actually hilarious how many times this shows up wait up boss we'll come with you hold it right there uh oh uh. <laughs> what the what what the fu what 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 sound was that man your only instruction was eek and you went oh, yeah. last week's snacks last month's toy what else aren't you telling me uh oh Oh, uh, the thing is, you see... Honestly, pretty cool. <laughs> like, she caught on. Calm down! You've all got your new first aid supplies. Don't you want to test them out? Oh, uh, wow! Where did that come from? I think I like you more. <laughs> run, run, run! This is an ending? Wow. Wow, look at that, man. I love that. Oh my god, I love it so much. Your little pose, dude. Dude, I love this. Look at all their faces. Like, all of the facial expressions of all the characters and then her pose. That's so funny. Uh, the Arataki Gang Community Service Chronicle. The Arataki Gang's path is never short of bumps along the way, even in such matters as sweeping the streets. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. Like, that did last a while, but I didn't expect the ending to be there. Still pretty cool though. Like this is one of my favorite hangout events, honestly. Has a lot of flavor in it. Specifically because like there's interactions between a ton of like um Inazuma characters. And then like obviously the Arataki gang has like really good chemistry. So um it's really good. It's really good. It's it's not like the other ones where you're basically going on a date with the characters. Like this one's like actually a fun vibe, you know? It's great. Anyways, on to the next ending! So, this is interesting. So, with this Hangout event, the endings branch really, like, weirdly. Um, for this one, one choice here at the very beginning of the, of, this, of the Hangout event will lead you down a path that's just straight. 
There aren't any other decisions here. It's literally just straight down this way until the end here. Um, which is why I was wondering why there weren't too many, like, um, decisions that seem to matter. But let's, let's play from here, and we're gonna try and get the other endings. Last time, for fun, I sided with Kuki. This time, I'm gonna try to side with the gang. Oh, yeah, I forgot they added this, like, checkmark thing, so you know which one you chose. So, I guess... I'm going to defend the Arataki gang. Don't feel sorry for them. They need to learn their lesson. I think they've learned enough. Let's give them a little bit of chill time. Oh. Wait, I get to beat them up? Can I beat them up? Can I spank them really hard? Really? Yes, please! Punishment isn't necessary to teach them a lesson. Sometimes rules are more effective. This isn't a choice. These are the same. This is the same statement. Rules? You're saying we should man, I wanted to rules spank them, man. I wanted to beat their asses. I want to like bop each of their heads, and then like deplete all of the remaining brain cells they have left. The Knights of Favonius have a handbook. The Millilith also abides. I prefer the Knights. Hey, why am I talking about the Millilith? I'm an honorary Knight of Favonius, and in Leah, I'm just like. That one traveler. It's true. Having a clear set of regulations and penalties could help establish behavioral norms for our members. See? She studied law. She knows what's up. Is that really why I can never get them to change? Because the Arataki gang doesn't have any written rules and regulations? I do find that funny, though, because, I mean, they're getting arrested, right? Which means they're breaking the law. I don't understand why the Arataki gang just doesn't follow the law of the laws of Inazuma to not get in trouble. Like, I get their brains are kind of small, but wouldn't that make sense? Wouldn't that be enough? Hey, are you getting this? What do they mean? I'm not sure, but it sounds like it doesn't involve us getting beaten up. You could write an Arataki gang handbook. Hmm. Let me think about it. The Arataki gang handbook. Maybe call it the Arataki Gang Rules of... No. Guide to not getting in trouble. That would fly. St study? They're not going to make us memorize a whole book, are they? Okay. My guess is they can't even read. So I'm just going to lecture them until they get it. And if they don't get it, they each get a bop on the head. And every single time they lose a brain cell, it's going to get harder for them. So they really have to get it right. Otherwise, they're gonna go completely stupid. No way! I take the beating over that. Yikes! <laughs> Careful what you wish for, buddy. Hey guys, Shinobu seems distracted. Maybe we should slip away while we can. I'm not distracted. I'm looking dead at you. Why, is Shinobu, the only person you think can yes. get you in trouble here? If we can make them learn the rules by heart, it's sure to have some amount of influence on their behavior. Right? But will they is the question. But knowing what they're like... Exactly! Really into their heads. I'll have to assign plenty of homework assignments and give them pop quizzes each day. Huh? Where'd they go? What? How did... How did they escape? I was literally looking directly at them, wasn't I? Wasn't that my perspective? Okay, wait. I'm, like, I'm confused. Shouldn't these hangout events be from Traveler's perspective? Or am I wrong? Because, like, shouldn't I have seen, like, what the... Because I was looking at... Whatever, never mind. Well, given that this way is Tenshukaku in the police station, you can bet they'll have fled in the opposite direction. Hey, man, you don't know the limits of their stupidity. They could have full well sprinted back to the police station and then asked to be turned in just to avoid this situation right now. Who knows what chaos will cause next if we leave them to their own devices? I'm gonna need your help. Let's catch these kids before they do something stupid. She's literally a mom saying kids. Mother cookie. Okay. Um, what's up next? Gang bylaws. Track Mamoru and the others down. Why is Mamoru the relevant one, man? Huh? Genta's That's way more relevant than Mamoru. What's he looking at? What was that? Oh, you. Can I talk to you, actually? 
I was just doing some cleaning when I suddenly heard a loud noise outside. I got to the door just in time to see a shadowy figure disappear up that tree. Oh, no. <laughs> this is a busy street. Surely it wouldn't be a burglar, would it? Nah, it was probably just an animal, man. You're fine. You know, just a big animal that looks almost suspiciously like a human. Why am I stuck in this pose? I think my internet crashed. Hold on. Man, this is really awkward. Um. <laughs> That's the owner of Isa Bathhouse. What's he looking at? What was that? What was that? I already asked. I already talked to you about it. I didn't even realize this, but there are actually like the posters just around in Azuma now. The Arataki Gang is filled with folks who talk the talk and walk the walk. This advertisement is very well aligned. Yet, will anyone see it in a deserted place like this? I did. I, I clearly did. So this guy's looking at this tree. Do I climb the tree? Is that what he's telling me to do? Are they on the roof? Oh. Are the others, like, here too? Or is it just Mamoru? Mamoru! Come on, get up. What are you crouching there for? Uh, Shinobu! What are you doing up here? Hey, what do you think you're doing climbing up on someone else's roof? Oh, sorry. Coming down. <laughs> <sighs> if you're gonna horse around, fine. But you have to know when to rein it in, okay? S sorry. We're very sorry. I will be much stricter with him in the future. <laughs> oh my god. Every single thing that Cookie says is literally just mother moment. She is mother. She is mom. Parenting the group. If on closer inspection you do find any damage, please come to Hanamizaka and ask for me. The Arataki gang will bear the cost of repairs. And by that I'm sure you mean they'll repair it like for them. I don't think the Arataki gang has that much money. <sighs> it's okay. All's well that ends well. It's just, if you carry on like this, causing mischief day after day, night after night, sooner or later accidents are going to happen. I can see that you're a reasonable person. For your own sake, find a way to keep your subordinates in line. See? All of a sudden, everyone is acting like a normal person except for the Arataki gang. Which I find weird. I mean, granted, a lot of NPCs in Genshin are quite chill and behave normally, but like, for some reason it does not register in my head that like, Genshin NPCs are capable of having normal human interaction. Maybe it's just like a video game NPC thing, but when I think of NPC, I don't process that they're like, you know, reasonable people. Because they're always like, easily entertained or amused, you know? I don't know. NPC brains are weird. I will. Thank you for understanding. For the sake of both the Arataki gang and the community, I will get them to start behaving themselves as a matter of urgency. Uh, <laughs> uh, we'll do better, we promise. Listen carefully. From now on, you must strictly abide by the gang bylaws of the Arataki gang. Is that the new term? Gang bylaws article 1. I like that. Do not damage other people. I like this. Looking in good so far. The member shall compensate the victim for their full losses, including the cost of Yada 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 yada. Hour. What are they going to do? Sing a song? Do a dance? Maybe twerk? If the offending member cannot immediately afford to pay the compensation, the Arataki gang will extend to the member a loan for the full sum. I like how incredibly well thought out this is for like a one-off thing. I mean, it doesn't take very much to think of like a rule like this. Like we're never going to see these rules happen again because it's a hangout event. But it would be funny. I mean, like to see this applied in the future. As a further security, all of the offending members gang assets, including Oni Kabuto. Okay, and blah, 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 blah. No, no, I'm sorry. I get it now. I promise. Good. Then no more violations in the future. Now, where are Genta and Akira? Uh, boss said that a fellow gang member is a brother from another mother, and we should never betray the brotherly bond. What? Okay, but isn't, um, isn't Cookie part of your gang? Shouldn't you be, like, not betraying Cookie? If they violated the gang bylaws and you're withholding knowledge of their whereabouts, You'll be punished as an accomplice along with them. Hanabizaka! They went to Hanabizaka! I saw it with my own eyes. <sighs> Let's go. I hope they haven't caused any trouble. Alright. 
I'm surprised they managed to get that far. But let's go. So maybe. Shut up and get a move on. Whoa. You'll only have yourself to blame for the consequences. I like how stern Cookie can get sometimes. It's like, I don't know. It fits her character well, but like for some reason it still shocks me because like, I don't know. Where is Genta? Where'd he go? Am I dumb? Huh. Oh, Genta! Where is this bitch? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Oh, I know. We can get yeah. So it's his own fault. <laughs> I managed to overlap the audio. Oh! Oh, it updated. Under the bridge. Oh! Hey, buddy. Please don't see me. Please don't see me. Why are you still hiding here? Come on out. Oh! Uh, I. Shinobu. Her name's Cookie. She is Cookie, and I accept no less. Whoa! The guy who stole our spot, he came out! Wow! Sorry, we're coming up. I, I, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have stolen your spot. Well, at least not without a fair fight first. What the fu- Dude, have, have the- Okay, I'm assuming that's gonna be like a beetle fight, but that sounds horrible. Like, that just implies that the Arath Hockey Gang goes around beating kids and then, and then taking their shit. Like, that's- That's horrible! But, like, I'm almost absolutely certain it's a beetle fight, in which case they always lose. But, yeah. Um, let me make it up to you. As punishment, I'll play a game of Genius Invocation with you. Genius Invocation? Okay. Now we're getting into some interesting territory. Huh? Cool, count me in. In the Arataki gang, the victor shares the spoils. No, wait. Brothers share our burdens. So, uh, punish us together. What? Didn't you just run away to escape punishment? No, maybe not. It's so noisy over here. The grown-ups will definitely find us. If they find out that we came out to play cards before finishing our homework, we'll never be allowed to play again. Uh, these kids have more self-control, unlike some people, these kids. Yeah. Besides, if we never do our homework and play Genius Invocation all the time, we'll probably turn into big losers when we grow up. Huh? Seriously? You mean like this guy? I hope they're not pointing to me. Please, please tell me they gestured to Genta just now. Oh, brother. Quick, let's get back and do our homework. Good kids. Good job. Do that. Very good. Hey, you little rascals. Stop. Leave them alone. They're just kids. And they're doing better than you. Gang bylaws article 2. No bullying of small children. Why does that have to be a rule? Why? I'm so... Okay, this is concerning. This is concerning. Why does that have to be a rule? If that's not common sense to the Arataki gang, I want out. I'm not part of this. I want nothing to do with these people anymore. Except Cookie. Cookie is fine. Bylaws? What are they? Just recently invented. We were talking about them right before you fled. Never mind that. Just listen. Violators must give a sincere and unreserved apology to the victim and make amends. Until such a time as the victim forgives the violator, they will be banned from participating in all gang activities, including blah 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 blah. No! Don't pretend to be the victim here. Tell me, where is Akira? Uh, boss said that homies are family and homies family are family. Each other out. Especially not to Shinobu. Her name is Cookie, and also, she's part of the gang. How do you not grasp that you are also betraying the, the your, your, your fellow gang member here by not revealing where your other gang member is, hmm? Go on. He was heading out of the city. I saw it with my own eyes. Why do I get the feeling this happens all the time? Because, I mean... When Shinobu gives me the look, I react automatically. I can't control... See? Implies this happens all the time. As members of the Arataki gang, we brothers share our burdens. If that means getting taught a lesson, then we take it as a team. Out of the city? <sighs> a doshin from the police station told me that things have been getting pretty rough out there recently. Let's go. Hopefully we can catch up with him. <sighs> I swear, I've never known a cure to run so fast before. 
I can't keep going. I think I'm actually gonna die. Dude. Like, they have less stamina than me. And my stamina runs out quite fast in this game. I heard from the police station about a group of Kairagi on the prowl outside the city. Odds of Akira running into them are pretty low. Well, anyway, the best we can do is find him as soon as possible. There's a lot of terrain to cover here. I think we might have to split up. I'll get Mamoru and Genta somewhere safe and tell them to stay put. Then, I'll go south, you go north. Sure thing! Thanks. Now, where's north? <laughs> just kidding. It, it tells me where to go. This is just a funny scene. Hello there. You're just vibing here, man. What the hell? I wonder if I can hide in this box. How is he so chill? Sonobu, huh? ah, please have mercy. You think I'm cookie? Well, I'm flattered. Um, but I don't have that kind of fearsome glare. Huh? Oh, you scared the heck out of me. Like, how are they not afraid of me? I'm working with Cookie. I was so sure she'd be with you. Boy, this is lucky. Well, what is... Okay, what is Traveler's Dynamic here? Am I like the mediator? Am I like the, the, the double agent? Is that what's going on? Am I like helping both sides a little bit? What are you doing here? <laughs> I closed my eyes and just ran and ran. Then I tripped and fell and this is where I ended up. And you are not injured. You are not out of breath. And you're completely chill. It's the perfect hiding place. Even comes with these huge boxes. Yeah, seriously, this guy is way too chill for having, like, fallen down here. You know, like, it doesn't seem much to the traveler, but that's still a steep cliff. Like, if a real-life person fell from there, it would kind of hurt a little bit. Probably wouldn't break anything because it's sand, but that would still hurt. If I can squeeze myself inside one of them, Shinobu will never find me. Good luck with that. Uh, don't sell me out. Boss said our gang is our clan, and... Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Oh, I am not a member of the gang. And power to me, because, man, I don't want to be associated with a gang that bullies little children. That is so stupid. <clears throat> well, friends should look out for each other, too. Am I your friend? Am I a curious friend? Is that a thing now? Anyway, please, help me empty out one of these boxes. Kairagi might show up. Kairagi? Wait a second. This sounds like Shinobu trying to scare me out of hiding. You don't know that. Hmm. Even if it's not, I still feel like I'd rather face a bunch of Kairagi than an angry Shinobu. I, you'd probably face, like, getting struck by lightning four times in a row. Rather than, like, seeing Shinobu's angry face once. I ran so far this time, Shinobu's gonna be furious with me. Yeah, I think I'd better stay in hiding for a while. Why am I letting this happen? No, come with me. Wait, what? Okay, these are two two split paths. I'm not gonna help Akira because I want to help Shinobu. You will? How do I know you mean that? Because homies are family, baby. And my word is my bond. I guess with you there, maybe Shinobu really will let me off this time. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Let's go. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah whatever, whatever, whatever. Let's go. <laughs> Shinobu? How come you're here? I finished searching the south and noticed you hadn't returned, so I came to see what was up on your end. Looks like I was just in time. Help me! You promised! Uh... Yes, I'm not going to do anything. Apart from slap you on the wrist. Shinobu, spare me! I, I... Huh? Did I hear you right? We go through this song and dance every day. Even an omnipresent god would have a tough time keeping track of you all. And that's an impressive feat. I feel like they should be kind of proud of that. Besides, even when I teach you a lesson, it's not long before you're up to your usual antics again. <laughs> In the Arataki gang, we call that being too legit to quit. Dude, not now. Okay, I love this. I, I don't know if that's like a literal translation of something. I Obviously, it's not. Uh, what I mean is like, is that in the Chinese script? Was it like phrased that way too? Or was this like just purely English translators just having fun? Because this is just funny. I like the dialogue. From now on, we will be using the gang bylaws of the Arataki gang as the new disciplinary tool. I've got the basics thought out already. 
Once it's finished, it'll be time for class. Mamaru and Genta are waiting for you at Hanamizaka. You can make a study group and test each other on the rules. Wait, what? Are you serious? Help! Come on, it's not that bad. Uh, I'm a member of the Arataki gang. I ain't about to waste my life studying and doing homework. You're not wasting your life, man. It's like a few days, maybe? I'm out of here. Huh? Gang bylaws article 3. Insubordination shall be punished by making the member recite all the bylaws from memory. I mean, I, I find it funny that she was like shouting this and then like music kicked in, but it's like really gentle music. I really wish that like hangout events would have like, you know, I really wish hangout events had like specific music. So rather than letting background music still play from wherever you are, make the music toggle be toggled off and only play music specific to the event that's happening right now. Because this music does not fit. It's very weird. And it, like, it actually breaks immersion quite a bit. I mean, yes, I can turn music off, but I mean, come on. You're expected to play Genshin with music. Music's like one of the best parts of this game. So I don't see why like hangout events couldn't just have Tanto it customized. Was playing cards with a child. When he lost the game, he got angry and proceeded I to like steal that they use John Doe. Cards. I don't know if that's like Anyway, whatever. This is like a I'm pretty sure this is like a term that they use for like an anonymous person. It's usually I think involved with law if I'm not mistaken, so pretty cool that they use that specifically. Which article of the gang bylaws did John Doe violate? You kidding me? He was mad about losing, so he robbed a kid? Which gang is this John Doe punk from? We gotta go teach him a lesson. Yeah, everyone knows don't hate the player, hate the game. Who does this clown think he is? Actions speak louder than just words, my friends. Also, John Doe is just a hypothetical character. This lesson is pretty legit, yeah. Welcome to the class. Are the gang bylaws doing the job? There are three laws, three rules. If these guys can't, like, get a grasp of three rules, I have severely overestimated just how many brain cells they have left. And I apologize for even suggesting that a bop on the head would deplete anything. Pretty difficult to say so far. But at least the punishments I use in class will get them spending their energy on something meaningful. If it keeps them out of trouble, I'll consider it a win. Me too. You'll see very shortly. Hey. Have you got an answer for me yet? Let me turn around and they're like gone. <laughs> they ran away. Um, no, they're here. <laughs> the one about not bullying children. That's the second one, right? But then it also kind of fits damaging property, which is the first. How about I answer Article 1 and you answer Article 2? Why is he suddenly close one to the mic? Be right, so at least we won't get punished as hard. All right. Shinobu, we've decided. Wrong. John Doe violates both Articles 1 and 2 of the gang bylaws, and the additional notes to Article 2, Clause 36 also apply in this case. What? What did she do while we were gone? What did she change while we were gone? Why are there 36 clauses in a three-article bylaw thing? As for your punishment, each of you must write out all the relevant rules in full three times. No. <laughs> Why are there that many clauses? You know- Oh. Oh my god! I will tell you- I will say, every single, like, pose that they have for the hangout events are, like, really funny. These, like, images that they have are hilarious, honestly. I love this. Like, Cookie is my vibe. Anyways, on to the next ending. So, we have finished... This one. Official business. And we finish this one. The Arataki Gang Community Service Chronicles. So let's go back here. And go help out Akira. Um, while he's down here by the boxes. Because that was the other option we had. I'm just going to skip through all the text though. Okay. If she scares you that much, let me help you hide. I don't know if this will work. Thanks. But I'll do my best. Alright. Get in. Why is there so much stuff in here? It's so crammed. Never mind. They're actually showing us the, the event. I was, I was going to, like, try and, like, you know, voice some scenario, but, like, this works. Ah, oh, shoot. There goes the flyers. <sighs> Finally made it. Da, 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 da. Everybody introducing Akira Box. But now there are flyers everywhere. They're visible from outside the box. Well, 
Can't do anything about it now. Uh, can you go back and see what Shinobu's up to? Uh, I need to figure out how long I need to lie low before she calms down. All right, solid snake. It's so cramped in here. Lol. Bye. Hello, Cookie. Your back's turned to me. What's up? Did you find anything? Nope. That's too bad. My search didn't turn anything up either. I just spoke to a Doshin. Apparently, the Kairagi are smuggling some supplies and they've hidden them in this area. They could come back at any moment to collect them. I just hope Akira doesn't run into them. Uh oh. What do they look I'm told like? They're stored in a few wooden boxes. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I follow. Yeah. That's okay. Really um. On your face. Let's like, go what? save him right now. Um. Actually. Let's go. So my guesses are either he's gone or they're a Kairagi right here. And he's gone. Is this the place? Well, you see. Um. <clears throat> mm. No boxes and a whole bunch of footprints. We got here just too late. They can't have been gone for long. And with the supplies weighing them down, they couldn't have gotten far. Let's follow the footprints. Footprints? Wait, how are these Akira's footprints? Wouldn't this be the Kairagi's footprints? Right? How did Akira step outside and then walk this way? These are the Kairagi's footprints. Whatever. Beyond this point, there are weeds everywhere, and the footprints are hard to make out. Aha! Look, I found Akira. That it's that giant thing over there. Huh? There they are. Oh hey! Oh, he did get outside. What is going on? You little brat! Where are the supplies? What did you do with them? Chill, bro. Um, I think they probably ended up. In the sea? You idiot! You've ruined everything! Ugh! And you've stuck these hideous flyers all over the box! Hey man, they're not hideous, it's just a lot. What do you take us for, huh? Nothing! I mean, I didn't mean anything! Our deal can't go ahead now. You are going to pay for this! He said that like a robot. Our deal can't go ahead now. You are going to pay for this. <laughs> Wait! You better not mess with me. I'm... I'm from the Arataki gang. Come again? The Arataki gang. Never heard of it. You don't want to get on the wrong side of my boss. Even the general of the Shogun army doesn't dare to challenge him. A and Shinobu, too. She's got connections all over Inazuma and Liyue. And... Liyue! I hate it when characters say Liyue. There's a Y there. It's Liyue. It's not Wue. Like, there's obviously a Y there. Where do they get the W from? I don't get it. Anyways. And me! I'm here too. You're here! And Shinobu. <laughs> so you're the Shinobu he's talking about, huh? Well, I don't know if I believe a word this little brat says. So tell me this. If you're really such a big shot, uh, 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 why uh, do you uh, hang uh, out with this nobody? In the Arataki gang, nobody's a nobody. Yeah, tell him, Cookie! Listen and learn. Gang bylaws, Article 3. When one of us is in trouble, all of us come to their aid. Bylaws? Do we even have those? We do now. <laughs> you asked for it! Shinobu, watch out! Watch out? Uh, business. Whoa! I haven't actually trial run her yet, so I don't know how she works. Oh, this is healing. Okay. Cool. Um, what other stuff do you got? Let's go, Cookie! Woohoo! Wait. Bah! Oh, there's like more of you. Well, I beat them. Uh, uh, I thought it was a goner for sure. So these Kairagi were just pawns of the Fatui. Didn't see that coming. If we pass this information to the Tenryo Commission, it might go a long way towards making up for our past crimes. True. Huh? Shinobu, you mean... We got the happy ending. I did something good this time? <laughs> In terms of the result, yes. Ah, <sighs> that was a close call. However, in terms of the process, 
You're a member of the Arataki gang, and you're out of breath just from fighting a handful of Kairagi and Fatui. He didn't help. Making up for our past crimes is one thing, but you really need some more hands-on training. Honestly, that would be cool. Like, if all of the Arataki gang actually learned how to fight well, that would be awesome. Sh Shinobu. Shinobu, no! Help! Uh, you're on your own. Sorry, buddy. Whoa. Did she knock him out? Is that what this is? Dang, okay. Doom arrives just the same. I'm honestly more fit. I'm honestly more fit of Shinobu when she's mad. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Okay, well, that's ending three. That one was pretty interesting. I kind of expected a fight at some point, but that was pretty cool. Um, I like the other ones a little bit more, but, you know, on to the next ending, I guess. Okay, so we've completely finished the bottom three. So, like, all of these paths are done. Now we just got to go to this top one. And I'm not sure what decision needs to be made here. Oh, wait, I know exactly what it is. Yeah, okay. I remember what it was, so... Wait. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. What's up, guys? All right. Uh... Step forward to defend them. Don't feel sorry for them. Yes, yes! Shinobu, please just let us go apologize. Oh, there we go. Yeah, like, let them do it their way? If someone else complains, they'll only arrest us again. And, and then you'll be forced to help us out again. See? Okay, why are their brains actually working? Why, why is the logic actually, like, why are the dots connecting? <sighs> I suppose I'll have to teach you a lesson later. Or not at all. So then, where did you post all your flyers? Hmm? Well, um, we left a few on the counter at Shimura's. We figured that people might take a look while they're eating. Also, the bulletin board at Tsukumomono Groceries. Ah. You hesitated there, Genta. It's Tsukumomono. I got it now. And, uh, also, uh, also, um... Just say it. Right, of course. Also, on the mountain path leading up to the Grand Norikami Shrine? We wanted to send the message. Why pray for the gods when you can call for the Arataki gang? But we only distributed a few before a terrifying fox lady appeared right behind us. Uh, how terrifying exactly? Um, I have an estimate. Uh, don't make me relive the memory. Well, anyway, by the time we recovered our wits, we were already at the police station. We were actually pretty relieved to be there, under the circumstances. Yeah, because it meant we'd escaped from the fox lady. Huh? Shinobu, why are you looking at us like that? It looks like I need to oh, grab man. some serious sense into you after all. Okay, look. Cookie, cookie, you gotta relax, okay? They're trying to explain themselves here. Just give them a chance. You, you said it was just gonna be a slap on the wrist! We've learned our lesson. Honest. Help. <laughs> Help. Uh. I love how we specify. Let's get them to apologize specifically to Guji Ai. No way. We're not going back there. We're going to stay as far away from her as possible. Sh -sh -no. Okay, but that's not possible. We're going to go apologize to Kanbei now. Um, bye. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And your AOA too. Hey, wait up. Uh. Is her name actually said? I don't think it's Aoi. It's not Aoi. It's Aoi. That's how you say that, right? It's Aoi? Not Aoi. I swear I've never seen them run that fast before. I think you may have scared them off. Of all the places they could cause a scene, they just had to pick the shrine. Oh, is this the shrine ending? I guess I'll have to suck it up and go sort this out. Why don't I come with you? It's not that I don't know anyone there. It's just... No, it's not that you... Okay. It's not that you don't know anyone. It's that you know everyone there. You I'll have been there smoothly with you to there. study. The sooner this is over, the better. I don't want to spend a second longer uh -huh, at that place uh -huh, than I have. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Anyway, Travelers remembering. Thank you for coming with me. No problem, Cookie. Let's do this.
Hello, ladies and gentlemen, at the um, at the shrine of the shrine shrine. We're here to um, clear up the name of the Arataki gang really quickly. Oh, um, yeah, I'm Iko. <clears throat> I'm sure you've seen me before. Uh, please excuse and pardon the entry here. Um, we're just kind of barging in. Need to apologize really quickly, so... Well, hello there, little one. Oh, I see you brought a special guest. Now this is an unexpected um, interaction. I didn't expect to get a Miko interaction out of this, but... That's cool. <clears throat> Lady Guji, I'm here to apologize on behalf of the Arataki gang. We will remove all the flyers and compensate the shrine appropriately for any damages. I hope Lady Guji can forgive their appalling behavior. Hmm, huh, so that's why you're here. Yes, that is a tricky situation. This is the Grand Narukami Shrine, after all. Ultimately, their actions here are tantamount to disrespecting the Shogun herself. That's a devilish grin. She's not grinning. So how about this? I've already assigned a Shrine Maiden to clear up your little flyers. So at this moment, we are a little understaffed at the Shrine. Uh-oh! I see where this is going. appropriate compensation. Perhaps you could fill in for this Shrine Maiden and greet visitors for the day, hmm? There's the slight smirk there. I'm afraid I have to refuse. Yeah! Tell it to her! Oh? Such a hasty refusal. Do you think that's wise? <laughs> Goodness. Who knows what Tenshukaku would make of this if they heard about it. Uh-oh. I can't believe it. Uh-oh. Yeah, never let her lead you by the nose. I agree. Oh, dear me. Don't you trust me? I'm heartbroken. You've got some mischief planned, and I'm not for it. Normally, I would be, but I'm defending Cookie. <sighs> You're both impossible. Hmm. Go on, then. Go lend a hand to the Shrine Maiden in charge of removing the flyers. You can have it your way. Take down all the flyers, and that will be the end of it. Is that accommodating enough for you? Yes. Suspiciously so. I agree. This seems out of character for her. Still... Getting rid of the flyer should be the Arataki gang's responsibility. Yeah, true. Even if there's a catch to this, it can't be as bad as being a shrine maiden for the day. Thanks for sticking with me this far. You can leave the rest to me. Do we have an agreement? Well then, no backing out now. The shrine maiden I tasked with cleaning up is just outside the shrine. You'll know her when you see her. She is your sister, after all. Miyuki? Let's leave it there, shall we? Work hard now. <laughs> I'm assuming like that's like um, Shrine Maiden sister, not like actual sister sister. But if we meet if we meet Cookie's sister, that would be interesting. <sighs> so she still got me in the end. I hate to have to do this, but please stick with me for a little longer. No problem. Traveler never seems to be busy about also, anything unless there's an right Archon now, involved. Your chief advisor of the Arataki gang. I'm sorry, it's just... It's all a bit complicated. Uh, come on, let's go outside and find her. Look, okay, chief advisor sounds pretty cool, but isn't Cookie the chief advisor? <laughs> she does basically everything involved with keeping the gang under control, so she's basically that. Oh, hello! Wow. Are you admiring Ataki Ito's magnificent corn dog? <laughs> Just as I am, of course you are. Of course. Lady Yai personally assigned this task to me. Oh, it's you, Traveler. Long time no see. Lady Yai has instructed me to clean up all the flyers on the mountain. As for why someone would put these up at a shrine in the first place? Unbelievable. Who was behind it, I wonder? Huh? Who's that standing behind you? I really don't, um, I really don't want to be mean, but, like, like, the voice acting here isn't super great. Like, a lot of the words are kind of, like, rushed through or slurred a bit, which I don't, I don't really appreciate. <clears throat> Miyuki, it's been a while. Shinobu, you, you, you finally decided to come back. Sorry, no. I'm here for other reasons. Oh, really? The whole family's worried about you. Uh uh. They might not always say the right thing, but deep down. Uh. 
again, like, voice direction could have been better. Like, I don't know why they just went with the, oh, really? Instead of, oh, really? Like, that wasn't a very concerned, oh, really? Sorry, I'm being picky, but, like, I mean, come on, man. Uh, all the voice acting is so good, and then you reach here, and then it's like, oh, okay. Yeah, whatever. I'm doing fine, and there's no need to worry about me. There. Just tell them that. I'm gonna need more to go on than that. What's this I've been hearing from visitors? That you've joined some sort of gang since returning from Liyue? That's not the worst of the rumors, either. As unlikely as it sounds, I have to ask. Shinobu, did you get tricked into this or something? I was just about to fill you in on that side of things. As it happens, the gang I work for, it's actually a legitimate international organization. Really? Uh, Traveler, shut up! Shut up! Traveler, shut up! <clears throat> Our organization brings together the brightest talents from all over the world. Including this Traveler, for instance. A prominent figure in both Mondstadt and Liyue, who has recently joined us as our chief advisor. Greetings! Actually, um, you know what I realized? Like, what happens if you start this hangout event after you complete, like, the other, um, the other, uh, like, quests, Archon quests, the other, um, regional stuff? And all the other regions are out. This, this will be, like, a little outdated, so I don't know how they're gonna fix that, but... I guess they can defend it by saying, like, this is, like, time-bound to Inazuma specifically. I don't know if I used that word correctly. Wait. Lady Yai did mention something about a world-renowned traveler. So, that's you? And you didn't know? That's right. A large part of the reason I traveled all the way to Liyue was for the opportunity to build contacts with these prominent individuals. I mean, you're not wrong. You did kind of do that successfully with Yanfei and all that. I see. <laughs> well, that makes sense. So what is the name of this organization? Uh, the Arataki Gang. Ha. Ha. The Arataki Gang? I feel like I've heard that name somewhere before. Wait. That's the name on these flyers. <clears throat> I can explain. That was all due to a marketing campaign gone wrong. We came to the shrine today to clear up the misunderstanding. <laughs> Our organization is relatively new to Inazuma, and one recurring issue we've had is people misinterpreting what we're about. So, we engaged a local marketing agency to help us communicate our ethos and philosophy more effectively. Why does Cookie feel like she's significantly more intelligent than, like, majority of the rest of the Genshin cast? Is that me? Like, the, the way, like, she engages in conversation is way more, like, sophisticated than, than like, others would, would have approached it, I feel like. Which is good. I like her. Unfortunately, something must have gotten misunderstood along the way because the results were quite a disaster. Although, the fault lies overwhelmingly with our partner agency in this case. As a responsible organization, we think we should be the ones to apologize and deal with the fallout. So, yeah, we can deal with this, and you can go ahead and get back to the shrine. No way. This task was assigned to me by Lady Yai herself. Look, we can clean up together, can't we? Besides, I also want to hear all about this Arataki gang. There you go. Much better line delivery. Much, much better. In fact, pretty good. Like, I, no complaints. <laughs> I, I think it was just, like, you know, a couple of the things she says. Like, we've encountered this NPC before. It's just a couple of the things couple of things it's like she predicted my every move <sighs> all right fine the flyers aren't particularly sticky if we soften them up with water or loosen them up with wind they'll probably peel right off oh man ah uh, i wanted to just use traveler for this but seeing as i'm currently geo traveling i'm too lazy to swap off let me add someone all right Hello, Kakomi! You are now at a different shrine than yours. Stick it to the man. Join the Arataki gang. Uh, how do I put this? The artistic style of your marketing material is very... <clears throat> it's largely inspired by the abstract style, which is very popular in Mondstadt right now, and uh, also incorporates elements from Li Yue's inkwash paintings. We paid Topmora to hire a professional artist for this. 
And while the finished product is a little, um, avant-garde, that's exactly in line with the Arataki gang's spirit of being fearlessly creative and radically disruptive. Well, fearlessly creative and radically disruptive is a perfect way to describe them. I, um, I see. Yeah. Well, there's one. On to the next. Arataki numero uno ito. Ousting his foes like a sumo supremo. This Arataki ito, is he your leader in Inazuma? I've heard a few rumors. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> Mr. Arataki is a pioneering genius and the face of our organization. Naturally, plenty of our competitors seek to smear him. Mr. Arataki is generous and easygoing by nature and is reluctant to get bogged down with fighting spurious allegations. Plus, the fact that he is an Oni can make certain topics a little tricky to navigate. Nevertheless, we still reserve the right to sue for defamation if it comes to it. Really? Wow. That sounds tough. <laughs> Don't you love this gameplay, guys? I'm having so much fun left-clicking on a sign. Boom! Now dialogue. Woo! Our Itaki gang is filled with folks who talk the talk and walk the walk. Yeah, that's right. It looks like there are some members mentioned on the back. Mamoru, Genta, Akira. Hold on. If your organization has so many members, how come you and the chief advisor had to come and apologize in person? Um, well, first and foremost, we wanted to convey our most heartfelt apologies to the shrine and to Lady Guji. Well, we could also say it's the Grand Narukami Shrine. That would be pretty rough. I mean, like, if you if you messed up on the Grand Narukami Shrine, you gotta pay some respect. And, like, having higher-ups deliver that apology, like, personally, would be a good way to do it, I guess. Secondly, the other members are dealing with more pressing issues. Right now, they're in talks with our external marketing team about this incident. Mamoru and the others have, um far greater legal expertise and negotiating skills than I do, so they had to be the ones attending the talks. Uh, imagine if they show up here right now. Wow. The Arataki gang managed to find staff even more qualified than you. Now that's impressive. Right. I think this area is looking good now. Let's head down the mountain. Oh, head down the mountain. Okay. Where exactly? Oh, here I guess. Uh, uh, <clears throat> what are you doing here? Uh, Shinobu, we're so sorry. I called it. I called it. They were going to walk in and just show up. We've come to our senses now. We can't let you face the shrine alone, even though we're still a little scared. Actually, I'm feeling a little weak in the knees. It's okay. You guys can uh, turn around, actually, like right now. Hang in there, Akira. We got to do this. We have to go and apologize to her in person. Huh. Akira. Don't worry about them, Yuki. Let's get down the mountain and clear up those flyers. It's all right, Shinobu. We've already gotten rid of all the flyers down there. Huh? You cleaned up already? But I thought Shinobu and the Traveler were the only ones who came... We came here as quickly as we could after we finished apologizing in the city. After all, this was all our fault. Mamoru Genta and I were the ones who came up with the idea of the boss designing his own flyers. And we were the ones who put them up all over town and got arrested for it. So, it, it just seems wrong to make Shinobu face that woman at the shrine all by herself. Mamoru and Genta? Arrested? The flyers were designed by the boss? Uh... Busted! Oh no! Wow! The most irrelevant fucking shrine maiden found out how terrible! What the heck is going on here, Shinobu? What does it matter to you, huh? We were telling you a great story, and you fell for it, and that's your fault. True? Yes. Most of them, anyway. So, what happened? Did you get tricked into joining them? If the rest of the family hears about this, oh, goodness gracious. No. I joined of my own free will. It's not as spectacular as I was making it out to be. But I'm happy with what I'm doing. Go ahead and tell the family if you want. Tell them everything. 
I don't think being a member of the Arataki gang is anything to feel ashamed of. Agree! Hard agree! Even if you drag me back kicking and screaming, you know I'll only find a way to escape again. Oh, okay. Maybe maybe don't put it that way. Uh-oh. I have a feeling we've messed up again. Is she going to turn Shinobu in? Hey, we're the ones who messed up the shrine. Shinobu had nothing to do with it. Where's that other lady? B bring her out. Go on. She'll, she'll convert what was all our fault. And their brain cells are back to zero. I'm at a loss for words, Shinobu. I really am. All right, all right. I promise I won't tell anyone at home. Don't worry. What? You're not a little kid anymore. And you're more widely traveled and have met more people than any of us. At the end of the day, it's your choice what you decide to do. And I have to say, the rumors do unnerve me a little bit, but... Look, they came here to support you. Despite obviously being terrified of Lady Yai. Since you've chosen the Arataki gang, just promise me you'll do your best to make all the things you used to talk about come true. Oh, sis. What? What's going on here? I'm confused as well. I literally do not know. This is some internal Shrine Maiden stuff that I do not comprehend. I don't know, but it looks like... It looks like travel is about to explode. What? Sorry, I have no idea what the fuck that was about. Maybe we don't need to get that terrifying lady to come and confirm our story after all. Besides, if even the Traveler has decided to join, then the future of the Arataki gang looks very bright, doesn't it? No, Traveler, shut up, man. God. <clears throat> Chief Advisor, if you'd like to discuss the Arataki gang's future development, let's step to the side, please. Yeah, okay, thank you, Cookie. We're saving the day there. Oh, <laughs> Oh man. I did not like this one. I feel like this was probably the weakest ending. Specifically just because it was just cringe fest after cringe fest after cringe fest. Um, the other ones were funny. This one was just weird. So, uh, on our way to the final ending. This is, I believe, gonna be my favorite one. Because I have seen, like, the, the screenshot of this. And I think I know what the ending looks like. But I want to know what leads up to that point. Well, hello there, little one. Oh, I see you've brought a special guest. Paimon! <clears throat> oh. Lady Guji, I'm here to apologize on be- No! No! How dare the game do this to me? I have to walk up the steps a second time, dude. Blah, blah, blah. You said this already. Skipping! Skipping! You're not grinning! Skipping! Okay, this one. Looks like you'll have to play along. Uh-oh. Time to be a shrine maiden today. You've learned a lot since we last met. Otherwise, things can only get worse. I doubt that, but sure. True. I could deal with most people if they tried to exploit my weakness. Just not her. <sighs> okay, I'll be a shrine maiden for a day. But let me be clear that this is for one day only. And one time only. Unless I repeat this hangout event and this specific part of the hangout event multiple times. Also, I'm not wearing a shrine maiden's outfit. Not happening. Oh, well, that's a shame. What a pity, man. <laughs> Hey, not you too. <laughs> that settles it then. Now, there are already a few visitors at the shrine. Make sure you take good care of them. Funny that we're like on Yai Miko's side on this. I know what I'm doing. Oh, she marched off quickly. It's so cold. Seems I have no business left. Guess I'll be going. Hold on now. Would you like to be a shrine maiden for a day as well? Ether Shrine Maiden? Yes, please! <laughs> it's my shrine. If I say you're qualified, then you're qualified. See, I'm angry because they wouldn't ever dare show Ether in like a... In, in like an Inazuman outfit. If they show Ether in a Shrine Maiden outfit, I will be soaring to the heavens clapping and praising Hoyoverse right now. Because that is... 
That that's great. Please. Besides, I want to see that. That would be fun. Leaving her here all by herself? No, I won't leave her here. I'm just vibing here, but I'm not gonna. Yeah. So you'll stay and keep her company, yes? Of course. Don't worry. You'll both receive ample compensation for your trouble. Good. Thank you. It'll be quite worth the wait, especially yours. I assure you. <laughs> but uh. Should I be concerned right now, or what? Anyway, um... Cool, so there's that. Um, let's go to the next step. I'm now a Shrine Maiden, hello, I'm a Shrine Maiden. Kokomi's here to guide me, even though she's not a, uh, a, a, a Shrine Maiden here, but she's a priestess, uh, Watatsumi. So that's cool. Oh, should I take the risk, or... Huh? Who are you? We're Shrine Maidens! You're Shrine Maidens? They sure dress different these days. Aw, uh, man! I suppose this is the Grand Narukami Shrine, after all. I came across a potential business opportunity recently. They say that by financing an overseas merchant ship, you can make a 40% profit on your investment in three months. Several that of my friends have dope. already received their returns and want me to go in with them on a bigger investment. For some reason, I was feeling a little unsure about it, so I thought I'd come to the shrine and see what the great Narukami thinks. But the fortune slip I drew is neither positive nor negative. I'm at a loss on what to make of it. Most of the fortune slips in the shrine are pretty ambiguous. Could it be that our god wants me to come back and draw another slip tomorrow? And if the same happens again, then maybe the day after that? <laughs> okay, we choose optimism or pessimism? But I want to choose optimism. If you have all that time to draw slips... Why not spend it on learning more about this merchant ship instead? There you go! There's your answer. Just be analytical about it and don't trust your luck so much. I've heard of a scam where people make up a bogus investment and promise high returns in a short period. In reality, they just use the new investor's money to pay existing investors their profits. Once people see the early investors making their money back, scores of other investors jump on the bandwagon, and then one day the people behind it just pack up and leave with the money. Oh gosh, come to think of it, they haven't given me any specifics about the shipping router itinerary. By saying it's overseas and being economical with the details, they can filter out the folks who actually take the time to do their due diligence. It's another common tactic used by many scammers. Wow. She sounds really experienced in this field for some reason. But hey, that's what education does, I suppose. Wow, is that true? Praise be to the Narukami. Clearly she has been watching over me amidst my confusion. Thankfully I hadn't agreed to anything yet. Why don't you thank her first? Oh, yes, of course. Thank you, Shrine Maiden. Now that I think about it, I remember receiving similarly sound advice at this shrine in the past. That Shrine Maiden is long gone now, though. It's a real pity. Is it the same person? Did he talk to Cookie when it was it was like a young Cookie? Really? What a shame. Oh, okay, it is. Anyway, <laughs> That's funny. should be getting back now to warn your friends. Oh, goodness, yes. I'll go and warn them all right away. Nice job, Cookie. I'm proud He's of you. He manages to stop his friends in time. <laughs> well, I could right. not care less. There's another visitor. Let's see what he wants. You gave him good advice, and he's not in trouble, but whatever. If his friends are idiots, his friends are idiots, but... Okay, never mind. That's kind of cruel. I I don't know why I, like, act so cruel when I play Genshin sometimes, man. Huh. It seems even a change of scenery won't get the creative juices flowing. <laughs> Who are you? We're Shrine Maidens! I almost clicked the wrong one. Shrine Maidens! Shrine Maidens? Huh. I guess I could give that a try. It was Miko's idea. Oh. This was the chief editor's idea? Then no wonder it's so... novel. Ha ha ha! You're so funny! I love puns! Aren't they so cool? Ha! I have a knife on your throat! Uh, I, on the other hand, am all out of ideas. So I came to the shrine to pray for inspiration. Well, has it worked? N not so far. I guess I wasn't sincere enough or something. But I'm gonna come back tomorrow. I'm sure I'll stir the heart of our god eventually. Dude, this one was felt. At this rate, your next deadline will arrive before inspiration does. I'm selecting this because that resonates with me quite a bit. Have you ever thought about going traveling? Inspiration comes from life experience. 
The more places you go, the more people you meet, the more you'll have to share with your readers. Cookie, I hope you realize you are the only person that I know that has enough experience in that department. Most Genshin NPCs could not be asked to step outside of their home, much less go across the entire world just to experience new things. It's natural to run out of new material when you're in the same place doing the same things every day. Uh, is that a COVID joke? Well, th that actually applies to a lot of situations. But I mean, uh, applies to COVID especially. That's true. I haven't gone out exploring in a long time. Actually, ma'am, you look very familiar. Have we met what before? Why is she? Shrine? Was she like a super shrine maiden? Like, why would? Why does she know everybody? No, you must be mistaking me for someone else. Yeah, see the mask and the new outfit. I'm totally different. Actually, that would be make you hard. That there, that would make you hard to be recognized, wouldn't it? Lack of social contact can easily lead to a deterioration in facial recognition abilities. Is that a jab at this guy? Poor guy. Seriously? Oh, man. That's it. I'm packing my bags right away. Well, that was easy. <laughs> I didn't expect that to work. Oh, that thing I said about facial recognition? Probably depends on the individual. Oh, it's an old lady. Anyway, forget that. We have a new visitor. Let's go greet Hello, them. Asami. Uh, please, wait a moment, ma'am. Uh, we'll work something out for you as soon as possible. Oh, it's okay. There's no need to rush. <sighs> What's wrong? Oh, perfect. This lady's granddaughter is going abroad soon, and she'd like to give her an omamori before she leaves. Unfortunately, we just ran out. Could I trouble you to make some more? You should be able to find the brocade bags and knots on both sides of the shrine. For the paper slips that go inside, just ask Maki. Um, I don't think I need to go into detail on how to write the blessing and put it all together. No, I can handle the rest. Experienced shrine maiden on the, on the job right now. And by that, I mean the traveler. I'm, I'm so good at this. Mm -hmm. Ah, <laughs> thank you, dear. Great. I'll take her to wash her hands first. We'll see you in front of the sacred Sakura when you're ready. Ah, oh, thank you all so very much. No problem, lady. One. I'm gonna go find whatever the hell is needed to make an omamori, and also figure out whatever the hell an omamori actually is. Huh, so this is where the knots are. When I see it, I'm probably gonna figure it out. I, I feel kind of stupid that I don't know what this is. I'm gonna talk to Maki last. Fuck you. Um, there we go. Okay, bags, check. And you! You need bracelets for Omomori blessings? I have a few right here. <laughs> That's a different pose. Isn't it usually in hangout events they don't do poses like this or like like stuff like that? Anyway, whatever. Oh, but I'm afraid I don't have it. Oh, been. oh, it was just the angle I was at. Okay, I see. Don't worry, I got it. Surprisingly an interesting angle. With these two close up. Because that, that looked like a cutscene angle. I didn't realize that, that was like a my camera. Also, I didn't register what they just said, but That's I don't everything. care. It's probably not Let's important. Give it to the lady. <laughs> well, how, why is she here? Hello. Ah, oh, there you are. Is the Omamori ready? Almost. I just need to write the blessing. One second. I hope that you will stop worrying and leave us the fuck alone. That's the blessing. Here, ma'am. Please, come and pray over here. Oh, great Narukami. Please watch over my granddaughter and keep her safe on her journey. Ugh. Aren't you gonna join them? This is a job for a real shrine maiden like Inagi. I wouldn't be suited to it. Why didn't you convince her to leave? She's old, traveler. There are some things that mortals are powerless to control. Sometimes praying to the gods is the only thing people can do. Yeah, and, and, and that aside, like, what... Honestly, if, if it's an old lady coming to the shrine and she just wants to pray, you let her pray. It's her thing. You know? Be respectful. Not to mention that the Omamori will mean a lot to our granddaughter. Maybe it'll exactly. encourage her to stay safe on this her This exactly, actually. So in terms of the outcome, it's beneficial. Exactly. There you go. The only people I can't stand are the ones who don't think for themselves and at least try to solve their own problems. By relying on the gods for everything... All they're doing is neglecting themselves and those around them. Like, I swear to you, 
Like, Koki and Toma are the absolute hard carry individuals in Inazuma. You got Toma handling all of Rito as, like, the fixer up for, for a fixer guy. And you have Cookie basically everywhere else. Because this lady is, like, 3 billion IQ. She can, like, dissect your exact, like, psyche and figure out what the hell to do next. Like, she's, you know, the perfect, like, um, perfect candidate to take care of the Arataki gang and handle things. No, that has nothing to do with it. The reason I don't want to be a shrine maiden is that I don't enjoy it. Oh, well, yeah. Fair enough. But enough about that. It looks like they've just about finished, I think. Let's go over there and say our goodbyes. Like, Cookie's perspective on the Shrine Maiden thing is like Rosaria, but like, if she was not edgy. You know, like, <laughs> Cookie is just like innocently, you know, I don't want to do this thing. It it's super cringe and weird. Um, and I get that. That's, um... Thank you ever so much. When my granddaughter returns next year, I promise to bring her here so we can pay our respects together. You're welcome, ma'am. Make sure to watch your step on the way down. I will, I will. Do you need any assistance? Don't you worry now. I've walked this path many a time before. Oh, yes. I don't believe I've thanked you yet, have I? Thank you for the Omamori. No problem, ma'am. I'll make sure that my granddaughter keeps it with her. Hope she likes it. <sighs> You're welcome. Just doing my job. Aw. Oh. <laughs> Man, I mean, I don't know how to feel about this, because, like, Cookie's doing a good job. Like, just helping people. It's nice. But, like, obviously, the the whole process of being a Shrine Maiden it, it is probably really exhausting and stupid. Um, So I understand. It's been a long time since we last met each other at this shrine, hasn't it? Oh, been? no. So, you finally came back? Why is it the old lady that recognizes her? What the? F huh? Uh, I think you've mistaken me for someone else. Oh, really? Well, perhaps my hearing isn't as good as it used to be. Oh, okay. Well, let's get away with this by saying she has eye problems. Yeah. Oh, this is very strange. You sound exactly like another shrine maiden I remember. She didn't talk much, but I remember her voice very well. Oh. Anyway, I hope I can hear your voice again when I return with my granddaughter next year. <sighs> She's gone. <sighs> Seems this wasn't your first time. Didn't she mention that? Yeah, you're right. I once did a stint here as a trainee shrine maiden. It was arranged by my family. Specifically your mother, right? Unfortunately, your mom! I just I did a your mom. Let's go. Period. I just remember the way my family would nag me about etiquette and remembering the rules every time I left the house. Yep. Specifically your mom. Your mother. And how they'd interrogate me every time I got back from the shrine to check that I'd been on my best behavior and hadn't upset any visitors. Not once did I get a simple, have a nice day, or welcome back. Yeah, that's rough, man. That's uh, rough. <sighs> I couldn't I take really... it anymore, so Yeah, I, I agree with this. I was determined to be anything but a shrine maiden. So I studied bookkeeping, worked as an editor for a while, even sat for some exams to qualify as a chef. See? Just, like, the... I'd say, like... I don't know. Cookie is probably one of the most, like, um... Talented characters we've seen so far. I think. I mean, considering that she's probably young? Like, she's accomplished quite a fucking lot. I wear this mask to stop people from recognizing me. Because I don't want them to pry into my personal affairs. Dude, felt Honestly... I respect your decisions, Miss Cookie. You're a very awesome lady. Okay, enough chit chat. It's time to report back to you know who. Arataki Ito? Haha! -ha! Just kidding. Let's go. Let's go to Guji Eye and then, you know, say we did a good job and she'll be like, wow, you did a good job. Do, now do more. And then we're gonna get upset or something. I don't know. Hey! Ah, good show today, both of you. It was so much fun to watch. Watch. Would you be interested in continuing? See, I knew it. I predicted exactly what she would say. I promise. I promise. I have not done this quest before, 
I have not seen anything but a single screenshot of this. But I knew exactly what she was going to say because Yai Miko is Yai Miko and Miko do Miko things. It would be a terrible shame to let such fascinating individuals slip away. Please out of let me reach. go. <laughs> this sounds way funnier. I'm picking this one. Regrettably, I must decline, Lady Guji. The shrine and Yai so Publishing House are both fantastic places to work. They're just not for me. Hmm. All right. Well, keeping you around under duress would only take all the fun out of it. Here, these are your wages as promised. Not a single Mora short. Thanks, how much was it? Like two? <laughs> wages? No need, Lady Gucci. I'm here today to make amends. Oh, don't worry. I've already deducted the damages incurred by those boisterous boys from your amount. If you don't take the payment now, I'll be forced to send someone to deliver the package to the Arataki gang. What? Okay, just take the payment. I mean, free money. Let's go. Now, who should I send? Hmm. Miyuki, perhaps? Cringe! <clears throat> no need to go to all that trouble, Lady Gucci. I'll take it today. Good. How about you, little one? I trust you don't have any reason to refuse. No, I don't. Paimon will be extremely pleased with me. That's more like it. Uh, one more thing. You mustn't open the package until after you leave the shrine. <laughs> Otherwise, you will be cursed with bad luck. Oh boy. Hey, if there's any, um... Th this, uh, this might as well, like, have a big message plastered on top. This is a bad sign. This is a warning. You are going... You are in trouble. She is going to play a prank on you. Look out. Oh boy, I wonder what's in the bag. Definitely money. Oh boy, I yep, definitely got money right now. Oh, yep, that's great. This should be far enough. She's always saying things like that. There's probably nothing in here but plain old Mora. Or something else. It's probably not money. She scammed us today. Let's see. Yep, just Mora. Oh, wait, what the? Careful. What is it? A bomb? Is there a bomb inside? It's nothing. I'm just oh, I see. The amount. This shrine maiden gig was surprisingly lucrative. Oh no! What's she doing, man? What the? Definitely not. Okay, good. No amount of Mora could make me enjoy that job. Was that Miko's plan? Bribery? Not bribery, but like you know, kind of bribery. Let's see your share then. With no damages deducted, it should be even more, right? Probably like one. Oh, huh, that's weird. It's just a single thin sheet. Wait, what are you laughing at? Oh, it's the picture! Oh, it's the picture! <laughs> this was the one I saw. This is the screenshot I saw. This was pretty fun. Um, I can see why people were really excited about that. Like, I, this was fun. They captured Kuki's character, like, well, Shinobu's character well in this. But, um, I kind of feel like we spent more time interacting with, like, others than we did specifically with her. You know, like, um, that, that could just be me, but I don't know. We finally finished, so that's cool. And here we go. Every ending complete. Um, I'd say the, this one was my favorite. The, the one where we, where we were, like, shrine maidens and helping people, that one was fun. Um, I think... The weakest one was the other shrine one, this one, with, uh, what was her name? Miyaki? I already forgot her name. Uh, sorry, I, I just could not care less. Um, the other ones that were good were this bottom one, the one with, with you know, Ito. Just because Ito was in it, man. I mean, come on, that was great. And then this one, the one where we, like, you know, set up the rules. Specifically because, like, this image is really funny. This image is really funny to me. I don't know why. Yeah, pretty good. I enjoyed that. Um, now let's claim the rewards. Ba -ba -da -ba. We got some elegance books, some fragments. Um, oh, her signature dish is actually pretty nice. Um, and then you get this, and then this. There you go. And now I need to do the scary thing and roll. So, as promised at the start of this video... Um, I did say when I was finished with the hangout event, I would try and roll. And let me explain to you how this is going to work right now. 
really quickly. Okay, so right now I have guaranteed pity, which means the next five star I get will be guaranteed to be whatever the banner character is. And the problem is, I don't want Ito. Like, as much of a cool character as Ito is, I'm trying to save for future characters. Like, if I can get, like, other 5 stars, constellations and 5 stars, or stuff like that, um, that aren't Ito, that would be cool. Um, and the thing is, normally you would be able to dodge getting the 5 star, but I'm currently at 62 pity. And soft pity begins at 75. Past that point, the odds for getting Ito increases and increases and increases, so... I'm going to try to roll for Shinobu within 12 rolls so that I do not get Ito. Um, that's going to be tough. And that is a very, very tall order um, to ask for. But I'm really, really hoping that I get Shinobu and not Ito. Please. Please, please, please. I'll also settle for Goro. But like, I, I really want Shinobu. At least one copy. Here we go! Okay, it's a 3-star. We're skipping. Blood-tainted greatsword, whatever. Ooh, my nervousness is skyrocketing right now. I really, I really, really hope I don't accidentally get a, an early uh, Ito. If I get Ito early, I waste my guarantee and I'm gonna cry. I'm going to sob. Okay. <laughs> Skyrider great Skyrider sword? Alright, alright, alright. Oh my god, next, next, next. Shinobu, 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 no! <laughs> this should put us at 65. We're either at 65 or 66. I think we're at 65. Um, so this will put us at 66. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my god, dude. Uh, we got an emerald orb. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. This is like 67, right? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna have to start using Primo Gems now. <sighs> okay. Kuki Shinobu and not Ito. That's all I want. We're at 68. Ah! Dude, we're getting so close to 75. I'm actually scared. Okay. 69. This is roll number 69. Um... So, is this my Kuki Shinobu? Is it actually? Oh. Yeah, guys. I got Shinobu. There she is. Oh my god, man. Damn it. Okay. Let me quickly check my wish history. We are, in fact, at 69 pity. I can roll one more time. I don't want to roll past 70, but I'm going to roll one more time. Please be Shinobu now. Like, right now. Motherfuck. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Well, I mean, I tried my best, but don't worry. It's not over yet. Because while I don't want to keep rolling here, so I don't waste my guaranteed pity... I do have a lot of Primo Gems saved up. Keep in mind, this is all free-to-play. I've saved this up for... I don't even know how long. I've saved this up for a while. I'm going to try and roll for the Red Horn Stone Thresher on the Weapon Banner. Um, and hopefully I get it. But if I don't, it's okay, because Memory of Dust is also good. I think I only have enough for one of... One, one like, guaranteed pity here. So, a little bit nervous. But we'll see how this goes. Um... We'll see how this goes. Please give me it early. Early, early, early. Give me, give me. Nah. Yes! 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 Okay. Okay. I gotta calm down. Alright, everybody, everybody. Positions, positions, relax. Everybody, everybody. This is our chance. This is the moment. This is everything we've been waiting for. Thrilling Tales of Dragon Slayers. That's a good sign. Probably one of the best three-star weapons currently available. Yeah! Dude, I... Mm, mm, mm. That is what we are talking about, ladies and gentlemen. This shit is peak right here. I am extremely ecstatic as of the moment. I don't even know how the hell that happened. But in one ten pull, we got the red horn. I... Huh, phew.
Bro! And we got a we got a we got a Yujin out of the same pool. I don't even know how that happened. Whatever, Emerald Orb, whatever. I don't care. Will we get will we get another? Anything else? I don't mind. I don't care. I'm done. I got what I came here for, baby. Let's go! Oh my god. Can I get another one? I have Primo Gem saved up. I was planning this. I was planning to burn all of this. So like Let's just go again. Can I get another one? Not quite, but let's check it out. What did we get? We got a Rosaria, I guess. I have C6 now. That's my C6 right there. Alrighty. That's actually yummy. That is very yummy. That is super yummy. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll do this three more times. I'll do 30 more rolls. Come on, baby! Give me! Give me! Give it! No! That's so rude and disrespectful that you did not give me what I wanted. I know you were very nice a moment ago, but come on. Game. Alright, what do I get? Please don't be cringe. Please don't be cringe. Please don't be cringe. Please don't be... Ooh! That's pretty good! Hey, I'll take it. Sackfrag is actually a really good book. Okay. And then... Another, 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 another. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Bruh. 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 Okay. Okay. Don't be cringe. Don't be cringe. Don't be cringe. Not cringe. I've been waiting for a lion's roar. This is amazing. This is legitimately one of the best, like... Weapon banner like things that has ever I've ever seen. This session turned out great. Honestly, this rolling session turned out great. There are no losses, no losses, only W's, only dubs. What the? F okay, one more roll, one more ten roll, and then we seal the deal. That's it. Okay, well, I didn't get anything. What? Springless, Ningguang. I need both of these. Okay, I'll be damned, man. This was great. Holy crap. Holy crap. I was recording, right? Oh my god. Ladies and gents, that was a success. I could not be any happier right now. Unfortunately, we did not get Kuki. But we did get a dub today. So that was pretty cool. I I'm really sorry for not getting Kuki. I would continue rolling, but I have guarantee. Um, and I really, really don't want to waste guarantee because for a free-to-play account, having a guaranteed 5-star is powerful. Man, you can- that's powerful. That- that could send your account soaring. Like, if a broken 5-star drops, or if I need a new DPS and they rerun a character, there you go. There- there's my pull. I mean, yeah. Well, that's all I've got for Genshin today. Please let me know what your favorite ending was in the comments because I'm curious to hear what you all think. Also, let me know if you enjoy this playthrough style of content because I'm still experimenting with it, I'm not entirely sure how good it is, and the feedback would be much appreciated. But anyways, thank you so much for watching, I hope you have an amazing day, and cheers! I'll see you around.